Okay. This morning, we're going to be uh, reading from Genesis. We've been talking about altars. And uh, the first place that the word altar is mentioned in the Bible, it's, uh, it's a Hebrew word. It's, it's Mizbaak is the it's Hebrew word. And uh, I, I, I guess that's the way you pronounce it. I don't know. But it, it really, it comes from a root word that means, uh, that means to slaughter or to kill. And we had said when we were talking about altars, we had said that whenever there's an altar, whenever they build an altar, it was a place of encounter, a place where they would encounter God. It was, it was a place of sacrifice, it was a place of worship, and it was a place of remembrance. And uh, the first time that word is used is in Genesis concerning Noah. But it's not the first place of sacrifice. How many people know where the first sacrifice took place in the Bible? Anybody have a guess? In the Garden of Eden. In the Garden of Eden. Who was the first one to make a sacrifice? It was, it was God. If you remember the story, and it's, you remember it's history, it's not just a story, it's history, but when Adam and Eve fell, when they, when they sinned against God, and you can read about it in Genesis chapter 3, we're not going to read all these texts, but when Adam and Eve fell and sinned against God, they realized they were naked. They had guilt. And they tried to cover themselves. Remember, they, they picked leaves off a tree, uh, fig leaves, and they tried, to, they tried to cover themselves with fig leaves. How many people know a fig leaf might be pretty big, but it's not going to last very long when, once you take it off the tree? So to cover them, to cover their nakedness, what God had to do, he had to kill an animal and take the skin off the animal to cover them. Now, I, uh, and that was the first offering. That was the first sacrifice that was made. God had to do it. This last Wednesday, uh, we had to put our dog to sleep. Anybody ever have to put a dog to sleep? You know. We had our puppy dog. We had her for 15 years. And uh, her name was Shelly. And she, was, she wasn't eating and she was sick. And you know how that gets. If you ever had a, had a dog or an animal, you had to have to put to sleep. And when I, when I got ready to take her to the vet, Rose said goodbye at the, at the house and she was sad, you know, and we were sad. And I took her, I put her in the car, and I was driving to the vet. And, you know, I was like, I was like I'm going to be all right. I'm going to be all right, you know. And uh, she was sitting there. I'm like, it's okay, girls. I'm, I'm going to be all right, you know. And I was like, you know how men are. Brr. And uh, we got to the vet's office, and, and the vet wasn't there. He wasn't there yet. The only person who was there was, like, the technician. Her name is Linda. And we've, we've known her from going there many times. And I brought her in, and she said, well, you know, you know she had congestive heart failure. She just wasn't, you know. Uh, so we took her in the room, and I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm going to be all right. I'm going to be all right, you know. And uh, she said, I'm going to give her a little shot. It's going to be a tranquilizer shot, and uh, that's going to calm her down until the doctor gets here, you know. And I said, okay. So I'm, I'm there, and she gave her the shot, and the, and the lady said, you want to spend some time with her? And I said, no. I said, we've said our goodbyes, you know. And I started, you know, I was like, and I started sobbing. I, uncontrollably. I mean, I, I didn't cry like that for my dad when he died. I, I started like, and I thought the girl was going to give me a shot. <laughs> I, thought, I, I was looking to see if she had another needle there because I was crying. I was sobbing and, oh, you know, and I, I thought it was going to be tough and I went out for a couple minutes. And she understood because I'm sure she saw it before. And she gave me a little hug and she said, it'll be all right. I said, okay. But I was thinking, if I, if I, if I was so, if I was so, so broken by you know, having to say goodbye to my little... I wonder, and the Bible doesn't tell us this, but I wonder if God wept when he had to kill that animal to get a covering for Adam and Eve. I wonder if he wailed and cried that he had to take a life of an, of an animal that didn't do anything to anybody to cover his fallen creation. And I wonder... And again, this, the Bible doesn't tell us. We don't know what kind of animal it was. It could have been a lamb. It could have been a cow. It could have been a cow. We don't know. But I wonder if when he put those, put those coverings on Adam and Eve, I wonder if they were bloody. You know, I, I don't think he took them to the dry cleaners before he gave them to them. They were covered with the blood of an innocent victim at the first sacrifice 
that God had to make to cover the sins of his creation.